If your country isn't extremely small, chances are there's another popular city aside from the capital. Just like in Italy, where Naples stands out as well as Rome, in England there is Manchester as well as London. Spain boasts Madrid and Barcelona, and in Russia, St. Petersburg takes the spotlight aside from Moscow. St. Petersburg is situated in the northwest of Russia, covering an area of 1439 square kilometers and hosting a population of 6 million. It's considered the fourth most populous city in Europe. While Russia's capital, Moscow, ranks second with a population of 12 million, the most populous city in Europe is Istanbul, with over 18 million inhabitants. St. Petersburg is sometimes even more favored than Moscow in Russia. This is because of its geographical location. It's the closest mega Russian city to Europe. Not only is it right below Finland, but it's also just a two hour drive from Baltic countries like Estonia. So a resident of St. Petersburg with the right documents can find themselves in European countries within one, two hours, enjoying an active life between Russia and Europe. Another advantage of the city over Moscow is its excellent access to the sea. Remember, Moscow only has rivers passing through it. But if you look at a map of St. Petersburg, you'll see that the western edge of the city opens up to the Gulf of Finland. Beyond the Gulf of Finland lies the Baltic Sea, of course. The presence of the sea is one of the most powerful factors that can make a city popular. This is because the number of activities to do increases with access to the sea. For instance, Russians can head to the beaches of St. Petersburg for a swim, but such an opportunity doesn't exist in Moscow. People in St. Petersburg can take leisurely walks with their families on the city's beaches, especially after the evening rush hour. Residents can enjoy the sea air and relieve stress on the city's shores. If only the summers in St. Petersburg were longer, it could have been one of Russia's and the world's biggest vacation cities. Unfortunately, the summers here come and go quickly, meaning the weather cools down rapidly. Furthermore, not only does the sea flow through the city, but a river does as well. This river is called the Neva River, and it comes from Lake Ladoga to the east of St. Petersburg, splitting the city into three branches before flowing into the Gulf of Finland. This creates a situation where the western part of St. Petersburg is actually comprised of ill islands. Each of these islands has its own unique name. One of them is called New Holland. Like in New York, these islands are connected by bridges, making the city a cohesive whole. In total, there are 42 islands and islets in the city. In addition to the islets, St. Petersburg is known as Russia's Venice with its 55 canals and nearly 500 bridges. Alongside these canals, you'll find many grand houses in a yachting style. These houses often serve as residences for the country's wealthy elite or are turned into investment hotels. Some of these buildings have been left vacant by their owners as they are considered outdated compared to the modern era. The price tags for these buildings, especially the ones in need of renovation, can be truly staggering, reaching around $50 million for some of them. Another captivating aspect of the city is its experience of white nights. No, I'm not talking about the lively nightlife you might find in places like Thailand where the night never seems to end. The white nights here are a natural phenomenon that occurs in areas near the polar circles. I mean nights where the sun never quite sets. During the summer months, daylight in this city can last for over 19 hours. The sun rises around 3 in the morning and sets around 11 at night. Take a look at these scenes. They belong to the middle of the night, yet the sky is not dark. St. Petersburg is the city closest to the Arctic Circle, making this phenomenon more pronounced here compared to places like Sweden or Norway. Russians celebrate this period, which starts in May and lasts until July with numerous events and festivals, turning the city into an entertainment hub. Music, dance, light shows, and various visual spectacles transform the city into one of the world's premier destinations. So, it's safe to say that this city doesn't sleep during the summer. However, if you're someone who can't sleep in the light and dislikes noise, especially during the summer months, staying in St. Petersburg might prove to be a bit challenging. Russians have marketed this phenomenon so beautifully to the world that before the war, 
millions of people from around the globe would visit St. Petersburg every year just to witness the White Knights firsthand and see the stars in the brightness of the night. In fact, we're only just beginning to realize how special St. Petersburg truly is. This place had immense potential even during the time of Imperial Russia. It served as the capital of Imperial Russia for a full 200 years. It was founded by Russian Tsar Peter in the early 1700s. Originally, the city was nothing more than a swamp. The name Peter in the city's name comes from Tsar Peter's name, and Berg is derived from the German word for castle. Peter, having traveled throughout Europe, was deeply inspired and particularly enamored with Venice. He envisioned St. Petersburg as Russia's version of Venice and set about creating a city of canals. He saw St. Petersburg as Russia's gateway to Europe and invested heavily in the city for this purpose. For instance, the city's first university was established in 1724 and since then. Over 40 universities have opened their doors for education and research in St. Petersburg. Even today, the city continues to attract students from all over Russia and is home to some of Russia's top engineering and technical universities, alongside Moscow. The most famous and long-standing university in the city is St. Petersburg State University. If you have an interest in the history of World War II, some of you may have heard of a city named Leningrad and the sieges it endured during that period. Leningrad, which suffered immense tragedies during World War II, resisted sieges for 900 days without giving in. Well, that very Leningrad is none other than St. Petersburg, my friends. In 1924, it was renamed Leningrad in honor of Lenin shortly after his death. The city retained the name Leningrad during the Soviet Union era and was only renamed back to St. Petersburg in 1991 after the dissolution of the Soviet Union during Boris Yeltsin's government. That's why this city is not just an ordinary one for Russia and is well known throughout the world. The city has been so well preserved throughout history that it encapsulates many aspects of Russia, both from the imperial era and the Soviet period. The most significant evidence of this heritage is the magnificent buildings that adorn the city with its unique architecture. I bet when you visit St. Petersburg, you'll never want to put down your phone or camera. With every step you take, you'll encounter architectural marvels more beautiful than the last, and you'll either take their pictures or pose in front of them. The incredible architecture in the city is often in shades of white and brown adorning the main streets from end to end. St. Petersburg is not just competitive with Moscow. It surpasses many capitals in European countries. Nevsky Prospect, which is the heart of the city, is like the lifeline of St. Petersburg. In the historical and architecturally adorned Nevsky Avenue, you won't spot a single piece of litter on the streets. This area is the most prominent and consistently well-maintained part of St. Petersburg. The architecture you're witnessing steeped in history often harks back to Russia's imperial era. Each building has its own story and significance. Hence, the city is visually stunning and can easily rival Moscow in terms of aesthetics. The streets are bustling with people, especially during working hours, and you'll see plenty of people and cars moving from one place to another. However, what truly elevates your visual experience in St. Petersburg isn't just the clean streets and architecture. It's as if the most beautiful people in Russia gathered here, alongside Moscow. Russian people are either spending time with their friends in cafes or taking plenty of photos of themselves. The streets and parks are always lively, and you'll encounter a city that's very much alive. Similar scenes can be found in Moscow and the Russians here exude a level of confidence in their beauty. Almost no one is alone, and Russians genuinely enjoy making friends and being social. They are hardly stay at home. During the day they go to work, and at night, they immerse themselves in the flow of St. Petersburg. They always have plans and a schedule. They dress up and enjoy themselves until the wee hours of the night. The streets are filled with more luxury cars at night, and the wealthy Russians dominate the nightlife scene with their flashy toys. Additionally, Russians are glued to their phones day and night. If they're not chatting with friends, they spend minutes on end staring at their screens, engrossed in their phones. 
If you observe how crowded the parks in St. Petersburg are in the evening and on weekends, you can see that these people truly embrace life. Since the city doesn't have a problem with park and green space availability, you can easily spend time with your loved ones in any of the numerous parks. Furthermore, the sounds of music and the presence of artists in these areas contribute to creating a beautiful atmosphere in St. Petersburg. In fact, this city is renowned as an art city. There are hundreds of museums and historical sites here. The Hermitage Museum, the Kazan Cathedral and the Peterhof Palace are just a few of them. Especially when it comes to Russian architecture, the Kazan Cathedral is one of the most magnificent structures that comes to mind. Designed in the shape of a crescent, it has stood in all its grandeur since 1801. St. Petersburg has a highly educated population with over 90% literacy among women. Russian women in this city are well-educated and are known for their courage and skills when it comes to career choices. They don't let gender stereotypes dictate their career paths. Considering that St. Petersburg is one of the two most livable cities in Russia, you can imagine the demand from this country's 145 million people to live here. Consequently, rental prices in this city have increased almost as much as in Moscow. If you check rental prices for apartments on Russian real estate websites, finding a place for less than around 75,000 rubles per month is nearly impossible. The average prices for these apartments can easily go up to 150,000 rubles. To give you an idea, 100,000 rubles is roughly equivalent to $1,000. So if you plan to rent a two-bedroom apartment in St. Petersburg, be prepared to spend around $1,000. If you find these rental prices too high and are willing to live just outside the city, small towns like Kudrovo have been built nearby. These areas are home to people who work in St. Petersburg but choose to live in less expensive high-rise buildings in quieter areas. While some residents of St. Petersburg do earn good salaries to afford these high rents, a significant portion of the city's millions of inhabitants may not even earn $1,000 a month. Therefore, multiple family members often work together to cover rent and other expenses. People may appear well-groomed, but they don't necessarily enjoy a luxurious standard of living. To maintain a comfortable lifestyle in this city, an average family typically needs to earn at least $3,000 a month. Transportation in the city is generally done by subways and buses. There are bus routes that provide access to many different areas from Nevsky Avenue, which is considered the heart of the city. Moreover, St. Petersburg's metro system not only serves as a means of transportation, but also acts as a tourist attraction in its own right. The success of the Russians in metro architecture is truly commendable. Similar to the metros in many cities around the world, they have constructed the St. Petersburg metro in a stunningly beautiful manner. This city's metro not only moves people from one place to another, but also offers a visual masterpiece. There are 54 metro stations in the city and you can reach even the farthest points of St. Petersburg by metro. If you travel from Moscow to St. Petersburg by train, it takes approximately five hours. Additionally, if you arrive in this city on a cruise, you can stay here visa-free for 72 hours. Despite being close to the European region, Russian is predominantly spoken here. Although the rate of foreign language proficiency is higher compared to other regions in Russia, if you don't speak Russian well, it may take you quite some time to adapt and make connections in St. Petersburg. If you are unfamiliar with the Cyrillic alphabet, you need to not only understand the spoken language, but also figure out the writing. Signs, including those on official institutions, are in Russian and written in Cyrillic script throughout the city. If there's one thing that could potentially dampen your spirits in St. Petersburg, it's the city's frequent rainfall. If you ever plan to live in this city, you should be prepared for rain and overcast skies. In summary, St. Petersburg is undoubtedly one of Russia's most vibrant cities. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to like it and subscribe to the channel for free. Goodbye.